right, so we're back. It's a little challenging. This is take two, believe it or not. It's like we should have a behind the scenes of how long these videos take. We tried yesterday, failed miserably. I know a lot of you were saying that you wanted um, kind of, what is it, full days or day in the life? That would be extremely difficult. That just proved it yesterday. So we'll see if that happens. Full day eating possible, still very difficult, but um, it's a possibility. For now, we're gonna do my ab routine, which I haven't been super good about. I used to do abs every single day, so dedicated, but I haven't done it. I've, I've been slacking. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing and now that I'm back on it. Um, it's pretty basic. Before I get into it, a question my clients and I've seen online a lot um, I come across is well I'm overweight I'm a little chubby do I need to work abs like you're not gonna see them Yes. okay the reason why you want a strong core and you want to work your abs is for so many other reasons than just aesthetics uh, number one being injuries uh, strong core means you're less prone to injury you will perform any exercise way better if you have a strong core that's where it all begins is in your Core. That's why I'm trying to get back on it because I'm not going to lose any weight so my abs are not going to look any better. They're not going to be more shredded because I don't plan on cutting down. Um, I have to eat at a deficit if I want them to show more, but they're there. Just hidden behind some fat. And, also, okay. <laughs> and, also, and also working up often on them. What do you mean? That you don't do them all the, every day. You know, I, well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not as dedicated anymore, but I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Um, so, not just that, but just because you're overweight and you're not going to see them doesn't mean that when you do lose that weight, you're not going to want them there. Why start from, like, zero. start from zero once you've lost so much weight and, oh, now I want to see abs. Well, you would have seen them by now, you know? And a lot of my clients, the first thing you start seeing on them are their obliques doesn't matter if they're overweight you start to see their obliques um, and that's awesome that's like it makes them feel so great that there's some and, ab definition going that, on there but that's also because of the routine we have yeah the routine anyway so let's jump into this in a minute <laughs> all right so let's get started this is fun um, I'm gonna start with scissors they just help warm up the abs and let your body know you're about to start doing something Nice and warm. And you're sore from yesterday too, right? Yeah, I'm sore. So if I do it half assed, I apologize. <laughs> Alright. You can use a big yoga ball too. I like that. It's a bit more challenging because it's a little heavier. But it's in the garage where I prefer to do my workouts because I'm left alone. Um, it's clutching it and just having the ball here makes you perform it better because you can't slack. And it's like mind, mind connection too. Yeah, it makes you um, mind muscle connect when you have the ball. I feel that works better. Um, so down, up, raise. You could do a balloon too. I might have a pop in it. <laughs> <laughs> A little more challenging. Rusty. No, I'm used to the big ball. You can't miss it. <laughs> this little one is easy to miss. yourself up like in a gym this one's great but because I don't have anything like that in my house uh, I do it on the floor so it's this funny little twist down twist down. Thank you. 
You're welcome for the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> and you also still have leg day today, right? I do have leg day today. It's gonna be fun. Fun. Because I'm so sore. I don't like leg day when I'm sore in my core. But it's okay, I'll just bring the weight down a little. Oh, okay, another thing you can do. You can do. You can do. Now the reason I like leg lifts so much is because it targets a little stubborn area for girls. Just a lower. If you're doing a lot of crunches and you got a little mommy pooch, this area is just kind of out of control. You need more leg raises. Yes, baby? These abs are the easiest to grow, the top ones. And then most girls don't see the bottom ones. I'm coming. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm the blue. You don't want the blue? You want a different color? Alright, here. So that's what we have our kids doing behind the scenes. I didn't know he was recording. <laughs> Sorry, I totally like went into the frame. Um, yesterday was worse. Today's kind of, I'm getting through it, right? Yep. It's better today. What was I doing? Oh, the touches. Did I finish? I think so. I feel like I can do more. Okay, but if I finish, I finish. I'll repeat the routine for you. Um, well, no, I won't. You'll repeat the routine. <laughs> I'll show you the one I do and then I do three sets of it. Uh, planks, they're amazing, they're difficult. I love them, I hate them, mostly hate them, but they're great for you. They work so many muscles. Um, if you don't have time to do your routine, at least do planks. You were telling me somebody... Some, someone last week uh, broke the record for eight hours and 15 minutes on a plank. Watch me not even do eight minutes. And they ha he had judges like next to him like watching to make sure he's doing it right what? eight okay. hours that's crazy uh when you do planks don't arch your back don't stick your booty up tuck it tuck your tail in <laughs> it's not pretty hey yeah can you give mama like 10 minutes not even no. three upstairs? minutes what do you want from upstairs i'll be back <laughs> All right, I came running back. Uh, so planks, tuck your tail in. When you tuck your tail in, you're gonna feel your entire core engaged. When you go like this, nothing is happening here for you. So when you tuck, you'll feel everything. Thighs, arms, your back. Legs too. Legs. Both eyes. Take it up a notch, like going side to side. Hours. Nope, <laughs> not this girl. <laughs> your excuse your kids will not let you, right? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> That's what it was. And then last one, vacuum. Also an amazing workout. If you're looking to shrink your waist, ab vacuums are amazing for that. Um, um, especially if you're scared of getting wider, um, ab vacuums will prevent the wideness that you can get from doing crunches, or if you like work your obliques too much, go side to side, that'll widen you. Vacuums will bring you in. That's why when you see the uh, weightlifters from back in the day, their waist is like... Bodybuilders. Bodybuilders, weightlifters. And that's what, they, that's what they used to just only do. They would laugh at you if you did a crunch. Yeah. Right? 
So anyways, these are a struggle and because I haven't been doing it, I know I posted a video there it looks crazy back in the day before I had Kai. But after I had Kai, I just got lazy. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do them. You wanna vacuum all your air out. Hold it for as long as you can. If you're a little more advanced, you can start kind of playing with it. That sounded weird. Um, like, move it around. I'm not advanced. Let's catch your breath. Yeah, I mean, I won't, I won't go until I'm ready. I'm just talking. Um, anything else I need to know? Visualize your front going to your spine, if that makes sense. Um, through time, it gets easier. You get better at it. But at first, it's going to feel so silly. Like, what am I even doing? Um, and even now, to this day, I know when I'm doing it and I'm still not doing it right, and then there's, there's like one more suction. And then it's like, there, I finally have the vacuum. So, so it's okay if you're a beginner and just suck in your stomach. I, yeah, like, if in you the lift beginning, it up. I almost didn't want to do them because I'm like, this is silly, I'm not doing it. I'm just sucking in my stomach. I could do that, <laughs> you know? Uh, and then I would see people doing it, and I'm like, I'm definitely not doing that. So don't get discouraged, you'll get better at it. Is that easier or harder? It's Still all enough. hard right now, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sore. I just started reintroducing my ab workouts. I was doing them more frequently, so now I'm really sore. It's all hard. <laughs> uh, all right, <clears throat> Also, it might look scary, but you're fine. I'm perfectly fine. I know some people will be like, no, I will never I, do no, that. No, I felt like it was more taboo back when I first started showing it, which was what? Eight years ago, maybe? Yeah. Like kind of after Lila. No, mm -hmm. after Lila was born. So maybe, yeah, eight, nine years. No. Eight, seven years. Seven years. I'm going forward, not backwards. Um, when I first showed it, people were like, that's sick. You're gross. Don't do that. You have problems. <laughs> I guess. Yes, I have problems. Anyways, that concludes it. Um, I will just repeat that two more times. Um, anything I wanted to add in there? That took longer than it should have. Right? Oh my gosh, so much longer than it should have. And this is why I do my ab workouts in the garage where it's quiet. No kid is bugging me every two seconds with my neighbor. And less than 10 minutes, probably. Less than 10 minutes, seriously. You just go through the routine. Go, go, go. No one's to stop you. Anyways, re do that two, three more times, depending, you know how you feel um that concludes it we're back i tried to post another video no we're soon. not no we're not no. <laughs> we really are i'm sorry it sucks right now you know having a little one and lila's easy she's easy but kai right now and he like knows when we start recording mommy mommy, mommy he's daddy, a good daddy. boy he's so good until this camera comes out and he just starts to act up i don't get it any camera actually now lila did the same thing yeah what is that about? We're not social media babies. Maybe not. Anyways. <laughs>